Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of floor beam as you can see this is its drawing okay and first of all i will guide you for this drawing okay and also its section and then guide you for this floor beam practically so let's get start guys if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video guys you can see this is beam layout plan of the basement okay as you can see this is b1 okay beam one you can see which length is 20 feet and 9 inches from center to center of each column okay so this is 20 feet and 9 inches okay now guys you can see this is its section which is b1 okay this is b1 section so here the size of this beam is 12 inches by 15 inches depth is 15 inches width is 12 inches on the top of this floor beam we have rcc slab which thickness is six inches now let me guide you for its, its steel reinforcement this is b1 section and this is its long section okay because this is the beam layout plan okay you can see clearly length is 20 feet and nine inches as you can see at the bottom and tension zone and tension zone here guys you can see we have four numbers and we have six number of bar okay four numbers and six number of bar next guys you can see in upper portion we have here you can see clearly in upper portion we have uh, three bars uh, two bars at the top okay one is this one and this is the other one dia is six number two numbers we have also guys you can see we have also two uh, three side two are side bars one is at the middle okay so three numbers dia is six number okay exit l by three at the distance of l by three we have this one okay so next guys you can see the stirrups and the dia a uh, here the dia is three number at the spacing of from five to eight inches center to center distance between each stirrup okay so guys this is its section and this is its layout plan now let me show you practically okay guys you can see this is b1 from this column center to this column center the length is 20 feet and 9 inches okay so here guys you can see clearly we have four numbers as i show you in the drawing already so we have four numbers we have six number of steel rod four numbers of steel rods in bottom portion and two numbers in upper portion guys you can see clearly okay the dia is six number also here as you can see the depth is 15 inches width is 12 inches without slab rcc slab next guys let me show you for the other section as you can see we have the middle bar this is the other one and these are two side bars at the distance of l by three as i show you in the drawing already okay so this is from this center to l by four l by three sorry l is the span between these two columns and l by three so total length divided by three so here we have three steel rods two are side bars and this is the other bar so we have three numbers and the dia is six number okay now let me guide you for its stirrups details so here guys the stirrup spacing you can see this is eight inches after l by three but at the distance of l by three guys you can see clearly this is five inches so five inches and eight inches so these are the spacing the dia of uh, stirrup is here three number three number bar guys you can see and the spacing is from five to eight inches so here this is l by three this is the column center at the distance of l by three we have three steel rods again you can't see any extra steel rods okay and you can see the spacing is eight inches on this side you can see clearly this is five inches okay so one thing is very important they didn't provide the hooks on 135 degree so it should be provided on 135 degree not on 90 degree so they bend it on the 90 degree so let me show you the drawing again guys you can see this is b1 okay two uh, 20 feet and nine inches okay b1 section and you can see at section b1 as i show you there are practically four numbers we have at the bottom three at the top two are side bars and three uh, one is the middle bar and upper portion two are side bars here at the distance of l by three guys you can see at the distance of l by three okay you can see three number bar at the rate from five inches to 
8 inches. 5 numbers at the distance of L by 3 and 8 inches after L by 3. Okay. You can see these are the other sections for the uh, B2. Okay. B4, B3, B5. We have a lot of beams here and from this drawing you can get those uh, are very important to know about how to read the drawing so uh, reading drawing is very important before starting the uh, construction of steel reinforcement so therefore i'm telling you if you are working on a construction site so you should remember you should remember how to read the drawing okay structural drawing or uh, architectural drawing and then you are able uh, to see the layout uh, after layout planning so steel reinforcement everything we can get from this drawing okay so guys you can see clearly so these are steel reinforcements so this is b1 okay this is b1 and this is also the other b1 okay beam number one there is also b1 okay so you can see the shuttering okay the joints are closed by a plastering tape so this is very important and these are technical terms which i'm showing you in this video so this is very helpful for you people as you can see these are the other beams which is b2 there they will provide the beam that is b2 this one is b2 okay and b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 each beam steel reinforcements are changed from each other according to structure load according to the spacing according to column size according to a lot of things we have on the construction side okay so this is very helpful to know about this as you can see this is the column which is 24 by 24 inches with concrete cover you can see the steel reinforcement here we have 12 numbers of steel rods okay you can see this is 25 mm 8 number bar and you can see here 16 mm 20 mm okay they used here 60 grade steel rods in this construction there is b2 which i have already discussed for its size bottom steel reinforcement upper compression zone steel reinforcement stirrup details extra steel rods and uh, stirrups uh, hooks i already discussed the length of the stirrup hooks should not be less than three inches it's okay but the bend is uh, provided on 90 degree but it should be provided on 135 degree hope this short video can help you if you have any question related this construction video so you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye